Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your June 2021 monthly reading. This is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note that this is a general reading. You know the rules of tarot, so I will spare that to you and just say use your own discretion and intuition to determine what messages are meant for you and which ones are meant to be left behind for someone else. Feel free to check your moon rising Venus signs for additional messages for you or your counterpart. If you are unsure, unaware of what your additional signs are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you suss out that information. All right, my beautiful Aries, I hope all of you are doing well at this time. And one of the things that I would like to say to all my Aries subscribers out there who have bared with me through this down, down swing that I had with recording through uh, the winter months. I want to say thank you for sticking with me and hanging in there. There will be a better description at the end of this video. Um, so if you want to stick around for that, I appreciate that. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull one spirit guide message, one divine door, um, or some divine doors and some romance angels to begin this reading and then we'll get into your tarot spread. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light, what do we have for my beautiful Aries? <clears throat> for June, 2021, please best messages, advice and guidance. Thank you. All right, my beautiful Aries, you are getting the card from your spirit guides, breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and divine source. The breath terminates your entire being with prama, prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Remember to breathe. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have coming through. Some messages from the divine Nine doors, please, for Aries. June 2021, best messages, advice, and guidance for Aries. All right, so we had four messages come through. All right, so the first message that came through was deeper. You are not finished. You are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is to come. Hold on, hold on. We have begun here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. So you're getting the hope to breathe. Dig deeper. Something a new beginning is starting for you in this moment. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. Secret sketches. And then we have inner power. Be your own command. You brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to worry or fear. Breathe. So you guys are embracing your inner power you got to dig deeper. I'm, I'm getting the sense for some of you, you're going to be traveling or there's going to be a sense of wonder um, surrounding you, some adventure. Um, definitely new beginnings and memories. You're definitely going to be making a lot of memories. I'm loving this energy. Very feeling very light and airy. So let's hope it got energy carry, <laughs> carries through throughout this reading. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please bring me the best messages, advice, and guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in the area of love and romance for June 2021, please. Okay. Getting a little bit heavier with those cards. All right, bottom of the deck, we got finances and career. All right, so we're getting make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I think what, what 
for some of you, I'm going to rephrase that. For some of you, you're being guided to take the effort to release your past. Any hold that the past has on you, and maybe that's where this dig deeper is going to come from. For some of you, you are like, but I don't have any attachments to my past or my ex. Even, even the positive and negative things that we hold on to, um, maybe an argument, something that upsets you, that takes you up. And that still kind of aggravates you to this day. That's one more thing that you're holding on to. That energy needs to be released. By doing so and forgiving and learning from your from the situation and asking yourself, what did this try to teach me? What did this teach me? Um, you, and answering that question, really digging deep, going within. You're going to be able to solve that answer, find that answer, and then find peace within to let this entire situation go. And in doing so, you're going to usher in. And some of you already are at this point. It's already released this. And, and at that point, I feel like what I'm feeling is your guys are going to have a, a new, I'm uh, getting a rebirth of energy and new love coming in. I love this energy. Even the negative, I'm feeling positively. So that's, that's actually really good. Some of the other readings for the other signs have been very heavy. A lot of changes in the world. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do we have for my beautiful Aries for June 2021 in the area of love, romance, and personal relationships? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2021, please. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is that moment of pause, of patience, of waiting to see what the seeds that you have planted, what kind of growth develops from them. It's also the energy for some of you of evaluation, taking a look at the things that you've already done, already invested. What, what more chances are there for continuing growth and production? All right, crossing it is the man, the magician. So this is a card of manifestation. So there's something that a lot of you are trying to manifest into reality. Some of you, it's growth. It's expansion. For other of you, I feel like this is um, trying to manifest the stability. There is a sense of divine timing at play here as well. All right, so in the distant past, this could be last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, 15, 25. It's going to be different for all of you. We have the Page of Swords. This is a younger or young-ish <laughs> air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. doesn't have to be an air sign, however, but this is a messenger. This is somebody who collects also information. This is my little spy card, stands back to, to kind of observe. They have a question, they have something on their mind, and they're seeking the answer. All right, recent past, again, going to be, could be today, could be yesterday, last week, last month, so on and so forth. It's going to be different for all of you. They're coming through with the King of Pentacles. Significant earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But the energy that I'm feeling more than anything here is growth and expansion as well as abundance. This is somebody who is very solid, stable. For some, this could be a, a long-term partner. Crowning this reading, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is what you're wanting. You're wanting a brand new opportunity. Future energy coming in is the Six of Swords, leaving behind what no longer benefits you in the quest for what is going to be of your alignment to your betterment. I love this energy. All right. Interesting. We got the death card coming through in the spot that death describes your energy in this moment. And this is a card of transformation and resurrection. I love it. This is also the card of Scorpio. Some of you may be connecting with the Scorpio, but you're definitely dwelling in Scorpio energy at this moment in time. Outside influence to you, we've got the Six of Cups. So this has to do with your past. This could have to do with an ex returning, 
return of something, a situation, an emotion, a way of being um, to your life. Somebody wanting to come back in. We will check that out here in just a short bit. All right, hopes and fears is the nine of swords. So this is definitely falling heavy on the fear side. This is anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights, the coulda, woulda, shoulda, taking yourself to mental task and flogging yourself for things that should have been done but wasn't. It's replaying every conversation. It's a lot of sleepless nights and it's a very exhausting energy that never comes of any good. All right, so possible outcomes, future energy coming in, just as I called. We have the beautiful Ace of Cups bringing in and ushering in a new beginning of love and emotions. And I love that energy and creativity. We do not forget creativity. All right. So overall energy, we got the Page of Wands, a younger fire sign for some of you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries doesn't have to be. This is a this is that adventurer. That's this our wanderer, the explorer. This is our passionate message that's coming forth as well. And the hidden energy that's not seen is the Ace of Swords. Truth, honesty, integrity, and, and mental clarity. A truthful new beginning. Someone may be communicating with you guys about wanting to have a, truth, a, a new beginning with you. After a very hard and painful ending. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers to dig a little bit deeper into the situation. Pisces, I do want to say at the, after that, we will pull zodiac sign cards to see which zodiac signs are most dwelling in your energy. So stay tuned if that is something that you're interested in, in having confirmation on. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's clarify the cards on the table for my beautiful Aries for June 2021 in the area of love and romance. Let's clarify, starting with... The Magician and the Seven of Pentacles in the Heart of the Matter. Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance for my beautiful Aries. We got the King of Wands showing up at the bottom of the deck with the, yeah. The Page of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Two of Swords coming through here. So let's talk a minute about the King of Wands. This energy uh, is coming through strong. It's definitely fire energy. It talks about our passions, our desires, our goals. The King of Wands, he knows what he wants. He, she, here doesn't matter. Um, we both have both energy within us. The, the King of Wands knows what they want. They know what they most desire. They set goals and they will do anything and everything to achieve and conquer those goals. Plain and simple. Some of the time, some of the things that are done to accomplish their, 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 their prize can be seen a little as unusual. It may not make set, a lot of mis sense to a lot of people. And I feel like this is kind of the fuel, the passion, desire, the drive that I'm feeling in my in my ear areas right now. You're at a crossroads. You know a decision, a final decision has to be made when it comes to love. Now, some of you may have been get recently given an apology or an offer. And this, or you may be thinking about extending one, another try, another, another chance for some of you to another person, but I'm getting the sense that this is a cup that's been extended towards you. Cross watchers, feel free to swap the roles. You can actually bounce back and forth. Take it as it resonates. But it's coming down to you're stuck. Someone here is stuck. Trying to make a decision, may not have all the information that's needed to make that decision, but stuck at a crossroads, knowing that a final decision needs to be re reached, whether to accept, deny, offer, or refrain. From, from and making an offer to someone because that's what we're manifesting here is is love but we're also in that evaluation period of what is the potential what is the growth within this connection and I feel like this is why judgment is here it's the final judgment call is this worth investing any more time in all right spirit guides angels ancestors let's clarify the page of swords 
in the distant past, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Why is the page of swords here for my beautiful Aries? Okay, so we have the world, the four of wands, the page of pentacles, and the knight of cups. Okay. <clears throat> What's behind with the Nine of Pentacles? Okay, so I'm actually getting two different messages. So I'm going to relate both. First, I'm going to take the more uh, difficult one. The one that is not going to resonate with very many out there. All right, so first I'm getting the sense that the Page of Swords here, and I feel like this is your energy, Aries, right? Something to you about this relationship that you, this, 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 this connection that you were in just didn't quite feel right to you. There was a little, there was a, something that was small, but it stuck out to you and it was, and it would grow bigger and bigger until it couldn't be ignored. And I feel like you entered into the page of swords, trying to seek out why you were feeling this nudge, this intuitive feeling that something wasn't right in this connection. And through your your fact finding mission. I, I don't like to use the word spying here in this case because I feel like you were gathering information. You discovered the person that um, was you were connecting with was in fact actually uh, married here. And they were not in fact single. And that their long nights of working for some of you are actually covers for a, a marriage or commitment that they were already in. And they don't have to be married, they could have been in another relationship. But there was a foundation within this within that connection that tells me it was long term, so you felt like this person was your you know knight in shining off on armor. You know your very romantic kind of sweep you off your feet kind of energy. But in fact, um, they were just really offering you the bare minimum. They they could not actually fulfill all of your needs. So and I feel like this kind of came out, and it kind of. You may have ended this. This person also could have may have lived at a distance from you. All right. That being stated, for everybody else, where that's not going to resonate. I feel like someone here was making a romantic offer. They came in hot and heavy and sweet and loving and kind of did they did that that knight in shining armor sweep you off your feet, whisper and sweet nothing. It felt like everything was coming true. There was images of, of long-term stability, marriage, children, home within your horizons. But again, there's that little intuition, the little nudge, a little knowing that something just didn't feel right. And as time progressed, I feel like you entered this, the, the, the page of swords here to investigate where is this really going? Because I, what I'm getting is the sense of breadcrumbing. They would pull you, reel you in and cast you out and reel you in and cast you out. And when you started questioning whether or not, you know, this, this relationship was really going to go in any real direction, they would give you a new, new false sense of hope and they would reel you in and then cast you out. And I do feel like this is kind of a, it was a merry-go-round, right? A circle, a never ending circle. And I feel like eventually, some of you may have decided to get off, off the merry-go-round here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the King of Pentacles in the recent past. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Please clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so we're getting the Six of Wands. All right. Okay. They have a lot to say on this. And the four of pentacles, five of cups. Oh, yeah, the nine of wands, temperance, Sagittarian energy. Okay. So, the king of pentacles, that ideal partner. Some of you were dealing with somebody who was very much in the public spotlight and very wealthy and grounded. They were self reliant. I'm seeing a little bit defensive. Um, they were, they were kind of held back with their emotions. 
underneath this person, and this very well could be you, Aries, but I'm, I'm sensing this was this other person, but very well could have been you. Underneath this person was really caught up in a lot of um, a lot of the, their emotions. They may have been holding it back, not showing very defensive. Wall. I'm getting walls, walls up all around this person. But they were really in a lot of pain. They were really focused on their past, what was lost, their grief, their misery, their sadness, their rejection. This person really wasn't seeing what was right there, the possibility between the two of you. There was a lot of pain here. Now, for some of you, this could very well be a situation where because of this, you left, you know, this you left this partner behind, you moved on forward. You became a little bit more, more defensive, a little bit more blocked off from this person, and this, and this, you know, and, and and defensive and held back. And I feel like this person was trying to come in with healing and it was an offer, wanting to reunite things, get things started back up with you. But I feel like you may have blocked them out a little bit. You may have been a little bit leery and held them at arm's length because you got hurt in this situation. Um, I do sense that this person really does want to, wanted to bring balance to this. They regret their actions, but you know, either way this falls, somebody here was very, very wounded, very hurt. All right. So what is this Ace of Pentacles crowning this reading? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Please clarify. We got in the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I feel like this is not necessarily your energy, Aries, but here we go. We've got the Five of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may work with this person or may have met them through the workplace, a job, a career, an activity surrounding that. Um, so here, what I'm getting, the Five of Swords is a, car, is a card of self-sabotage. It's a card of strategy, of games, of playing cutthroat, do anything to win. Very narcissistic in nature, really self-focused, so I'm a selfish energy. Um, out to get the best of whoever, to get ahead. Um, we also got the Two of Pentacles here. This is a card of instability and balance. The Knight of Wands, again, is instability. Um, Sagittarian energy, not that the Sagittarians are unstable, but what it's saying is um, there's a wanderlust within the Sagittarians, and it exists in the Knight of Wands. They have a thirst for knowledge. They have a thirst for adventure. They have a thirst for things new and unseen, untold, so, which makes it a very, their energy incredibly unstable for the fact that they want to explore. And they want to get a taste of everything that the world has to offer, which can divert their attention from the current relationship that they're in. So this is a this is a card usually that indicates someone coming and going in and out um, of a relationship. There's just even if the person isn't exiting, you know, not staying together, breaking up, this could be somebody who pulls back, leans in, pulls back. Remember, pass the hell real in. You know, just, you just recently, you know, have already encountered that. And I'm feeling like this is this person again. What I'm seeing here is they're wanting a new opportunity to try to set things right. Six of Pentacles, they know that this relationship became unbalanced. They know, they're aware of what they did and they passed. They know that they didn't play by the rules. They know that they, they hurt you and they know that their actions were not honorable. I do feel like they're wanting to take action, but I'm, I'm for a new opportunity, but I'm not too entirely sure that they know how. This is trying to find the right foot to put forward, the, you know, put the best foot forward. This is them trying to figure out how to gain balance, how to bring in healing, how to bring in a give and take relationship that would be fair and honest. And I'm not entirely sure they know how to. This is their wish, but I'm not entirely sure they actually know how. They're trying to figure out. They're working on a plan here. They know it starts with self-sufficiency. 
they know that much. All right, so what do we have here with the Six of Swords? Thank you. Future energy moving in. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Wow, okay. So we got the Magician. We've got Libra. We got the Lovers. We got the Six of Swords. Clarifying the Six of Swords. We got the Ten of Wands and the Page of Swords. We had a lot of cards come out here. Okay, give me a minute to, to ingest this energy. I feel like this is going to be you. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of them. Okay. I think you're manifesting the truth, seeing the truth. I think you're here. I, I feel like you're keeping an eye on this on this person in this situation from a distance. I do feel like you've moved on. You're trying to move on and move away from this. You do see this as a burden and you do want balance to be restored to this connection. You want to make the right decision. When it comes to love and you do have a decision to make here about love. And we already seen this here. This is not a surprise. I, I feel like you're trying to gather the information to make this decision. This is what you're manifesting in and is the information that's needed whether to know whether or not um, to move on move forward or uh, reconnect with this person and accept their offer or extend the, them an offer I do think that you're struggling to your own to make the right decision this has been very heavy burden for you um, at the end of the day a lot of you are going to move away from this let me just I'm gonna be honest with you a lot of you are going to move away from this you're contemplating you're trying to heal um, something new is igniting within you there's a new passion here. And I do feel that from, from like the pit of my stomach and it's burning its way up. I feel like this new passion is burning within you. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be love, I'm being told. Um, it could be anything. It could be, um, okay. Somebody might be have a passion for writing a book or uh, I'm getting collecting rocks, but I don't think that's what I'm going to apply to anybody here, but I could. Um, you know, somebody I have a love for, astrology or a love for botany um not botany i don't think i was right <laughs> um gardens or growth or science or something is something within you is some of you it's not love it's something else something that you uh, oh architecture okay um they're throwing so many things at me slow down um there's so there's something for all of you for for a lot of you there's something within you that you have ignited your passions on, and you're diverting your attention into that, and that's a beautiful energy. What do we have here with the death card? Yep. Yeah. All right, see, and that's what I love. Okay, so my beautiful, beautiful Aries, you're showing up in Scorpio energy. And you got the Queen of Swords popping out here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, what I'm seeing here is you are sitting here with the wisdom and the knowledge of this Queen. You're taking emotions out of any decisions you're making. You're making changes and you're making cuts. And you're cutting things off and ending things that are not going to serve you in the long run. You're done wasting your time on people, situations, and things that don't bring you happiness. Because that's what your ultimate goal is. Your life is transforming because you are the energy of transformation in this moment. You're, you're manifesting this change. You are bringing this about. Not the universe, not anybody else. I mean, you have the support of the universe, but it's all you. You're in the driver's seat of your life at this very moment. You are determining what is going to bring you emotional happiness and fulfillment and what is not. And what is not is, is saying goodbye in this very moment. Um, three of wands, three of cups. I'm going to tell you, some of you were dealing with a third party situation. Going back to that situation, finding out that they were involved with somebody. Um, I do... See this, there was lies and manipulations, half truth sneaking around, trickery. But you've gotten wisdom on that. You've gone in and you've reflected on that. And that's the, that's the kind of stuff that you're cutting off. You're not going to deal with that energy anymore. I see good times and celebrations ahead of you. Um, you are, you're making the changes to make that possible. 
All right, so let's see the Six of Cups. Outside influence on this reading. What is this Six of Cups? Okay, we're getting the Seven of Wands. The Page of Wands. The Strength card. We have a fire sign. Possibly a younger fire sign to some of you. There's a Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn. All right, you have somebody from your past that's overcoming obstacles and challenges that could have very been toxic in nature. I'm getting addiction for some of you. If not addiction, this person had very self-limiting beliefs. They really didn't have faith in themselves. They didn't feel good about themselves. If they're overcoming that. Um, could be a Leo for some of you. It doesn't have to be. Be Capricorn Leo. Um, could uh, okay, Leo Virgo Cusper as well. Okay, so. With the strength card, this person has really tamed their emotions. That they may, I'm getting, they may have had some of the, some of you may, may have had somebody that had an anger issue when they were younger. They have really tamed that down. Um, they're in control of their thoughts, emotions, life. They're actually absolutely in this really great place. They've learned self control. Um, so they, this is stuff that they've overcome, and I feel like they're coming back. They're coming towards you. And here it is, Page of Wands, that adventurer, right? That messenger that's bringing in a passionate message, it's passionate communication coming towards you, coming your way, or at least that is their intentions. And they want to offer you stability. They want to take care of you. But you may be so drawn up into this other situation with this other person that you may not see that coming towards you. They are fearful that you may reject them. But they want to they want a new chance with you a new start they want to take that dive they have a lot of fear about it but they want to all right what is this nine of swords energy clarify the nine of swords please for aries the star yeah the eight the wands and then the chariot Patiently waiting, need to look towards the future, not towards the past. Um, some of you are, okay, somebody here is very much caught, stuck in their head. And they, they, I feel like this is it. Someone's, like I told you, the depression, anxiety, the worries, the coulda, woulda, shouldas, taking yourself to mental tasks. Somebody's stuck in this pattern over and over again, creating a loop each and every night, each and every day. It's all this mental energy of thought that's exhausting. Spirit is coming in to tell you to have hope and faith. With a chariot, somebody, your, your chariot is going to arrive. You're going to have victory. You're going to have forward movement. You just have to bring balance and a peace within yourself. And when you come into an alignment, everything aligns for you and will carry you to where you need to go. You have to be patient with yourself. All right, so let's see this Ace of Cups, possible outcome, future energy coming in here. Mm -hmm. Aries, bottom of the deck. Love is coming in for you. Could be a divine counterpart. What we have here is the Three of Pentacles. Somebody is willing and wanting to work together to build a life, not an equal partnership. They're on their way. They've made this decision. This first step hasn't been taken on this journey yet. But what do they want to build with you? They want to start building with you. They want to build a family. Their abundance, the family legacy, you know, the house, the home, the children, the dogs, the cats. The flash bank account, the dream job. It's everything you ever wanted. They're wanting to build an entire life that is carried on for generation after generation after generation. They want to build that family home. However, that looks for all of you. Oh, that's going to look different for each and every one of you. But that's what they are wanting. They're wanting to build a life with you. And they're ready to start from the Three of Pentacles and work nonstop to build, to reach that point of the Ten of Pentacles. With you, Aries. With you. Beautiful. I love that ending. 
All right, so we're now going to go ahead and pull some Zodiac cards to close out this reading. What I tell everybody is plainly this. If the sign of the person you are connecting with, wishing to connect with, or are connected with comes through, take it as a sign in synchronicity that this there was a special meeting, special message within this reading for you. If the sign of the person you are connecting with, wishing to connect with, or have connected with is not, does not come out, but the rest of this resonated, this reading is still for you. Please take it as it resonates only. All right, spirit, guides, angels, ancestors, what is the main energy that are in my beautiful Aries energy field at this time? I'm not taking all of those. Okay, apparently I should have taken all of those. All right, what do we have? All right. Gemini. Virgo. Pisces. Aquarius. Water signs in general. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra. Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, and then any other earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus at the bottom of the deck, see? All right, guys, please be sure to hit that like button. It helps to circulate this video for everybody. Drop down to the comment box, drop me a message. I can't always respond, but I try to at least read and like every message that I that I come across. To all of my beautiful subscribers, here is the special message that I promised you at the very beginning. Again, I want to thank you for your patience and for be staying with me through my my law. And the month of December, my family became stricken with the illness. And unfortunately, that lasted all the way through until about mid-January, and they were on the heels of recovery, and I was trying to put out videos, but it was really hard because they still were not 100%, and then in April, I think it's April, end of March, April, my I lost one friend, and then just a couple weeks later, I lost my best friend. So my energy was not in the best place for several months. And I tried to put out videos, but I just could not keep up. So I let, let some time lapse, and now I have come back. So I'll thank you for being patient, for understanding. I did try to at least update you guys on my um, community page. If you have not yet, um, please make that part of your regiment for my channel, is checking that out from time to time. I'll leave updates. Um, little special updates from even on my current videos. I've been known to do that. If there's something that, that comes to me, which just sometimes happens in between, um, Spirit will bring me some additional messages. Um, sometimes it's song lyrics, sometimes it's something else uh, for my readings, and I update them there. But anyway, uh, again, I'm getting off on a tangent. Thank you so much for your love, your compassion, your support, for sticking with me. I'm sending you guys a wave of positive energy. And a lot of love. Thank you. Namaste. Bye for now.